Hi guys, welcome to another bowling review. So today I've uh, accepted a request to review Andrew Medina, uh, assuming from I'm assuming he's from the United States, uh, on his Instagram channel. So he actually messaged me through Instagram. Uh, he wants me to take a look at uh, his form uh, and giving him a few tips. Uh huh. Comparison how he use comparison how he used to bowl versus now. So I have taken a, li a look at his latest clips, but I haven't take I haven't looked at his earlier clips. Okay, maybe when is his earlier clips? Let's take a look at this. So I have muted the clips. Ah, okay, okay. So that is quite a fair bit of difference. So this is like what three years ago, two years ago at least, two to three years ago, ninety four weeks ago. That's really long. okay. Twenty twenty one. So that is like uh, almost two years ago, right? Because we're reviewing this at the end of uh, uh, 2022. So this is like a whole two years apart. So that is one. And let's see if we have something else right here. If this clip wasn't the best. Maybe a bit like this. Uh, we don't see any. Is this Andrew or is this Andrew? Maybe is Android. I'm not too sure. Nope, this is definitely not Andrew. Okay, and this one? A little bit newer. Okay. Yep, I think Andrew wants me to rate his improvement as a bowler, what he has worked on. Okay, so let's take a look at his early early like the first video clip that he submitted right so obviously this is probably when he started to end the bowling so andrew is still a pretty young boy uh i believe at this clip he should be maybe like 13 13 14 maybe even younger maybe 12 i'm not too sure because uh for the western kids they usually uh, are much better well, much better developed than us asian kids so looking at this form uh it's kind of not too convenient for instagram because i can't really slow it down but andrew here is taking a five-step approach and i'm just gonna let the video play i think this is the easiest way for me to do this um andrew is taking a five-step approach here so he used to have a really like uh bent elbow on his backswing uh his balance arm was really bad like he didn't have his balance arm now actually even his latest clips right his balance arm is still he's still kind of struggling with his balance and i'll comment on that later like uh so we can maybe pause it when he tries to go into his finishing position right so here he doesn't straighten his balance arm um he doesn't really follow through upwards with his uh bowling arm as well uh, I like his extension of his trailing leg though. Mm -hmm. And I think even back then, this is an issue whereby he doesn't have a lot of knee bend. Even like his current form, right? He actually doesn't have a lot of knee bend. And this lack of knee bend is concerning because without a good knee bend, right, Andrew, you're going to damage your knees uh, in probably a few more years because you're still a pretty young dude. So for a, if you're a really young bowler like Andrew, right? Yeah, you can get away with a little bit of... um like improper physical form so to say because your your joints are still pretty soft and you can get away with uh, like serious injuries because you're still growing your joints are still developing and soft uh, you're still really young so to say but as you get older right when older but uh, I mean like literally when you hit like 16 to 18 um, it's like it's not too far away right for a teenage teenage young man so that is when injuries will start to occur because uh, in Singapore, usually the age of uh, 17 to 18 is when we enter national service. And that's where we put our bodies, uh, the national service program, the program puts our military training, puts our body in a lot of stress and strain. And that's where you see like a lot of them having, getting injuries from, from military service, going through military service itself. And that is going to happen to like um no whether you're asian or whether you're american um as long as you hit that certain age where 
your you you end your growth spurt because I think for boys our growth spurt is going through probably like fourteen to sixteen. So at the end of your growth spurt and you start muscle development, um, I guess that is when your joints start to stiffen up, and you start to like. That is when you start to ex- uh get risk of injury. Because um, if you look at other sports as well, in this age of like 17 to 18, that's when a lot of the athletes start their peak and that is when they start getting injuries too. So this, like this lack of knee bend is concerning because you're going to lead to injuries for your knee. Because actually bending your knee will elevate some of the stress that you get from your body moving forward. Because when your body moves forward, right, and it slides to a standstill, it slides to a stop right before you release. You can see his knee here shaking, right? So let's see here. You can see his left knee. Yep, notice that little bit of shaking in his pants. Yep, so that wobbling. So you can you can see the obvious strain his knees goes through even back then, right? Because back then his, uh, his muscles were actually less developed. He was a younger kid. But even back then you could see that strain. So you got to develop a little bit more knee bend. That is for your long-term health to have a longer bowling career. So yeah, this is back then. Um, Box speed is a little bit slower than what he's doing now. So let's take a look at a more recent one. Not say more recent, slightly newer one. So this is slightly newer one. Balance is still terrible. But here he's actually practiced his practice and learned how to straighten his elbows. So he has developed a swing that he can completely straighten his elbows and he can actually swing pretty comfortably behind his back. Yeah, kind of like swing his ball back pretty comfortably with a totally straight elbow. But his balance is terrible here. So part of his terrible balance actually still extends until his his current form. Um, okay, yeah. So the reason he's actually pretty off balance is that his, you can see this is his bad habit that he has even until today. He bends, he kicks up his leg a little bit too much. What I would prefer for Andrew to do instead is to extend it this way so that he can have a... Uh, it acts better as a counterweight against the right side of his body. So even if his current form, right, if his latest Instagram shots, he's always falling to the right. And I believe this falling to the right is because it doesn't extend his uh, trailing leg far enough. He kicks it up, which is okay, but he kicks it he keeps it way too compact. So because it doesn't extend it far enough, doesn't act as a counterweight and that's why he's losing balance. And obviously as a bowler, if you're trying to be competitive, you're losing balance all your shots, it's kind of impossible to be consistent. So his balance arm his balance arm discipline isn't there as well back then. Mm-hmm. And I'll speed through this because he has so many clips. So let's take a look at something a little bit further down. Yeah, you can see his bad habits still persist. So here he has better balance, but you can see this bad habit still persists. Um, yeah, it's blocking, but you can see his, his leg here. It's kicking out of that, you know, that scorpion sting, so to say. His imitation of a scorpion kind, kind of really doesn't do him good. And you can see his lack of knee bend here. Yep, so this lack of knee bend is going to hurt his knees in the long run. So he got to develop much better knee bend. Okay. Then, yeah, let's speed through this uh, so that we can go through a little bit of the more recent ones. Maybe this. Okay, so I wanted to say that actually Andrew has early ball placement timing, which is actually fine. I would not suggest for him to change because it seems like he has been bowling with this timing for a good two years. Um, so I wouldn't suggest for him to change because he has actually found a way to compensate for that early timing by actually bring by putting his ball really, really low. So what he does here is that he places his ball really low in his stance and here he moves his ball up in his second step so as to compensate for his early timing to delay the downswing so you can see he places it here he walks his first step he moves at the beginning of his second step right but notice what he's doing is that he's moving his ball upwards so it's kind of like a fake movement it's an additional movement 
to move his uh, arms upward to make his swing take a little bit more time. So to make his swing longer, so to say. And then as he goes, uh, he's still coming, the ball is still coming a little bit early, even though he delays it by swinging the ball upwards. So you can see at the end of his second step, and when he goes into his third step, you can see that his ball is already in the upswing. So his ball is already in the upswing, rather than in between the gap in between his left and right leg, um, as it's supposed to be if you are talking about like conventional timing. So he actually has early timing. So he still has early timing here, even though he's tried his best to compensate for it. And he actually still does pretty good with early timing. Let's take a look. Take a look in motion. Yep. So one issue I have with him is that he doesn't really accelerate or he doesn't get his hands behind the ball enough to accelerate the ball. I, should, I think he is grip on his bowling ball is a little bit on the loose side. So Andrew doesn't accelerate his ball enough. Like he looks, his, his ball motion, uh, even though his swing seems decently fast, his ball speed doesn't look, doesn't look really fast. His ref rate doesn't look really high. And I think that's because he doesn't have enough grip on the bowling ball. So I would suggest for Andrew like to increase his grip pressure here, right? When he's right before moving the stance to increase the grip pressure on the ball and then to maintain that grip pressure throughout his swing and release so that he can have a better grip on the ball and can accelerate the ball better. Okay, you can still see Andrew is still falling off balance even in the, this more recent shot. Yep, so not this is not the best shot. Maybe this is better. Does this have a... Is it going to replay? No. Can we see his leg here, I, I, I believe? Yeah. So you can still see Andrew kicking up his leg there. And this shot is awfully slow, man. It's so slow. Yeah, he's yawning there with how slow it is. You can still see him kicking up his leg there. So that's still a bad habit from Andrew. He's kicking up way too much. So he should he needs to extend his leg a little bit more to maintain balance. But this in this particular shot he is actually holding his balance a lot better. Uh let's look at some of his more recent ones. Yeah, so lack of knee bend here. Right. Over over the years, I mean over the two years he's been bowling, his form has improved quite a fair bit. So yeah, balance on the straight. Yep, this leg is a little bit more extended, so he holds his balance a little bit better. Uh, the the play button is really blocking me because Instagram, yeah, kind of like not the more not the ideal kind of video format for me to pause the video. So, yeah, but you can see his lack of knee bend here. So Andrew really has to develop a little bit more knee bend so that he can elevate some of the stress, uh, uh alleviate some of the stress from his knee joints. Now you can see that he's, even though he's kicking up, he's not fully, he has to extend his right leg a little bit more. That your trailing leg needs to extend a lot more so that he can get better balance. His balance is not too bad, but maybe he can extend his right leg just a little bit more. Just a little bit more to have maintained a bit better balance during delivering his shot. He also doesn't seem to be really stable upon delivery. Upon release, you can see that he releases and then he pops up quite fast. Yep, because he doesn't really maintain that much of a knee bend. He, when he slides, he has a little bit of knee bend, but he, he comes up pretty quickly. Yeah, when he slides, there's a bit, fair bit of knee bend, but he comes up a little bit too quickly. So I suggest for Andrew to develop more of a finishing position discipline to hold his finishing position a lot longer so that it's a lot more stable. Uh, ball speed has improved throughout the two years as in bowling. So like in this exact shot, the ball speed is a lot better. I think his swing speed has gone faster. Yep. So you can see here that he started his swing, his back swing is kind of like his upswing, his ball placement, so to say. The additional move that he makes is 
his ball swing upwards and then his downswing have all increased in speed so that has increased his ball speed but it still has a little bit of lack of power here like his acceleration of the ball should be a lot faster with his uh, level of swing speed so i believe that has to do with andrew's lack of grip pressure he needs to have a little bit more grip on his ball like hold like during the stance here have to grip onto the ball a lot stronger with uh, his five fingers on his right hand um, if he finds that he's losing control of his ball in the swing he could also increase his grip pressure on the left hand fingers as well but mostly most importantly is the right hand fingers so to increase his grip pressure on the right hand fingers that will give him better control and then um, like higher ref rate because he will have like better control and better propulsion of the ball during the rele during release because if he increases grip pressure other than that tempo wise timing wise i will not suggest for him to change his timing because he has been you no know, been bowling with this timing for quite a period of time so changing timing at this stage of his career might really might really hurt him instead of helping him and that will really confuse his uh, style because he has, he's been so used to moving it so early so yeah i was just yeah i wouldn't suggest for him to change his timing Yep. So other than that, actually not too many suggestions I could offer Andrew. Uh, basically, more knee bend, have better finishing position discipline, uh, get increase your grip pressure, or uh, with your right hand on the ball, so that you should so that you should see an increase in your ref rate and slightly further increase in ball speed. But generally speaking, his like you can see that there's a lack of propulsion of the ball forward. Um, I believe the increase in grip pressure should help him with that. Uh, Andrew, if you have no tried the tips like increasing your grip pressure and you still don't see uh, like much better propulsion with your bowling ball, you can submit your clips and then I can review them again and I can see how much further that we can help you. Okay, so generally that's it from me. So Andrew, you're doing pretty good. So I would suggest you keep it up. Just keep bowling. Um, try out some of the tips that I mentioned. You know, uh, like having better knee bend, increasing your knee bend just a little bit, or at least holding your finishing position better with that knee bend. So get better finishing position discipline, extend your training leg a little bit more during finishing, just a bit more, so that you can get slightly better balance at the foul line. Um, you should see a little bit more stable release, and then increasing your grip pressure so that hopefully you can increase the propulsion of your ball. Get higher ball speed and ref rate there. Okay, so that's it from me. And thanks for submitting the request. We will see you guys in the next video.